Hi guys, it's Dallas here with your two minute tip for today. And today is gonna to be a little bit longer. Why? Because we're talking about disinfecting, disinfecting your workstations. And especially when we're talking in the COVID season right now, we really wanna focus on how we're gonna clean our workstations. So I wrote a few things down to kind of help us, guide us in how we can clean our stations and clean our areas. So the first thing I wrote down is when you're using a disinfectant, always use only on pre-cleaned hard non-porous surfaces. When you say non-porous, why are you asking non-porous? Because if it's porous, that means that germs, microbes can live within it and there's no way you're gonna be able to disinfect that completely off of there. The next one is always wear gloves and safety glasses when handling disinfectant solutions. When you have that, you don't want it splashing up on your eyes and you don't want it actually affecting your hands either, okay? Be safe. The next one is Items must remain submerged in the disinfectant for 10 minutes unless the product label specifies differently, okay? If it says something differently, no, but if not, it needs to be mm, submerged completely, all right? Cool. The next one is for large surfaces like tables, you want to be very careful of getting that disinfectant on there because you don't want anything splashing back on you. So I suggest using a spray bottle and spraying it there, but you still need to let it stay on those, that table or in that area for 10 minutes unless the disinfectant specifies differently. The next one is if the product label or your state rules that the implement must be complete, completely immersed in the solution, then do so, okay? Have it completely immersed in there for those 10 minutes or however long that the product says it needs to stay there. And last one, change the disinfectant according to the instructions on the label. If the liquid is not changed as instructed, it will no longer be effective and may begin to promote growth of microbes. Right. So I hope that will help you understanding on how to clean your workstations whether you have clients or whether you're at home with just Zoom by yourself, still be able to clean and disinfect your areas. And there's your two minute tip. Thanks guys, a little bit more than that. Bye-bye. <laughs>